Check out Major Key Physiques for the best in sports apparel and workout accessories. They have free shipping worldwide for all orders over $150. Use discount code JACOB10 for an extra 10% off. Enjoy the video and I'll see you there. Alright everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at Jack Lambert, number 29 on the NFL's greatest players of all time list. You guys know who he is, I know who he is, so there's no time to lose. Let's roll the intro and I'll see you in a minute. Jack Lambert. Gotta love it. Hang on. Steelers? Let's do it. When the Steelers drafted Jack Lambert out of Kent State, he carried barely 200 pounds on his 6'4 frame. The fledgling linebacker might not have made it in Pittsburgh's nest, but for the there he is. inspiration of Oakland's mad stork. Everybody said, oh, Jack, you know, you're a good football player, but you don't weigh enough. You've got to be at least 235, 240 to play. Well, I just couldn't put the weight on. Look at the haircut. Uh, a great hope for me because uh, when I saw him throw into the pros, he was tall and skinny like I was. Over time now, there's kind of become this understanding that, that small running backs have an advantage because a lot of times linebackers can't see into the backfield. His height at middle linebacker may have been a, a positive in the reverse. He may have had a better view of what the offense was doing, and that might explain why he seemed always to be one step ahead of things. He just seemed to make every tackle. If the best player in the middle of the field is making all the plays on the best team, maybe this is the best defender in the league. Most likely. On a team of the decade. I don't know even who's number two for the idea of being the middle linebacker on that roster. I came out and the tackle came on me right now. And I stopped him. I stopped him over there. He cut and dipped in, went back outside, was around the corner before he even got off the bar. He was an extremely intellectual linebacker, which I don't think was the association with him at the time, probably because he was toothless. And probably because he looked kind of like a madman. His greatest strength. <laughs> Was his ah. <laughs> so like John Rambo, I guess. He was certainly the most intimidating player on a pretty intimidating team. Get out of here! <laughs> oh! Yeah, Lambert. Get in there! <laughs> he doesn't even know what happened! Oh, that guy doesn't even know what happened. <laughs> He's definitely not looking at Jack Lambert, that's for sure. Your Lambert won Defensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive MVP awards. He made nine straight Pro Bowls and was the man in the middle of the steel curtain for four Super Bowl wins. It's possible that Jack Ham was a greater outside linebacker than Lambert was as a middle linebacker. They look like the same guy. But I don't imagine opponents fearing Jack Ham the way they would fear Lambert. Pretty much every play, the quarterback was staring directly at Lambert, who had not only this very scary appearance, but this incredibly active appearance. I made the comment earlier that we should put dresses on quarterbacks. He's got a lot of play out of that one, you know. But I meant it. Quarterbacks couldn't skirt past Lambert, who became a frequent visitor to opposing backfields and a permanent fixture in Steelers lore. Pittsburgh he did, to fuck, he did well to catch that ball, I must having say. Having a certain kind of toughness, having a certain kind of team, Lambert really represents that. And there's never going to be a guy who replaces that in Pittsburgh. He will always be perceived as the greatest personification of what Steelers football is supposed to be like. That's what Lambert represents. The Steelers at their highest point. Lambert. Good old Jack Lambert. What an absolute legend. I know Jack Lambert. We all know Jack Lambert. 
I certainly do now. That was Jack Lambert number 29 on the NFL's top 100 greatest players of all time list. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit the like button if you want to subscribe and stick around until we get to number one. Please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.